What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Cut. Welcome to the vlog, dog. Yeah. It's another day, man. We in the kitchen. So it's another cooking vlog, dog. Tonight we doing some um we're doing the beef ribs again, man, but we're doing them baked this time. Well actually I didn't decide to bake them because it's hot as the devil's toenails out here, you know what I mean? So I got them actually on the stove right now. I put a nice boil on the ribs. You can see I put a very nice boil on them because look at here. The bone already and it fell off. Look at that. What did that tell you? That's that fall off the bone recipe. Yeah. That's how it's going out of Cut's Kitchen, man. We got some mac and cheese. We're going to do a nice big mac and cheese. Y'all requested the seafood mac and cheese, so it's lit, man. That's exactly what we're doing tonight, all right? So y'all stay tuned. KNT Gang, let's get it. All right, y'all. We back. I got my mac and cheese ready. Now, I'm actually going, I know you see it looks kind of thin here because I'm actually going to layer it this time, you know what I mean? I'm going to go ahead and get this part right and then I'm going to put another layer over top of it and repeat the process, so here we go. First thing I'm going to do is toss some butter up in that jam. Alright. And that's good there just for, you know, get it started. We need the OD. We do want to make sure the mac and cheese is nice and buttery. You know what I mean? How y'all doing out there, man? Much love, much respect, man. Everybody tuning in, man. Hope everything going your way. From the King and T family. It's too hot out of this bed, man. Ain't it bad? It's too hot to do anything. I couldn't wait for the summertime to get here. Now it's here. It's like, shit, where the wind at? <laughs> Ready to throw my coat back on already. Damn. Be careful what you ask for, I guess, son. The saying is ever so true. Careful what you ask for, because you just might get it. And then, son. I damn sure you ain't asked for this much heat. No, sir. All right. Got that looking pretty good. I'm dropping macaroni on the floor and shit. No, we can't be doing that. No, sir. All right, let's see. Y'all gotta forgive me, man. I know my voice is a little subtle, man, but I actually just burnt my arm a minute ago out here. A little bit of water. Well, a nice amount of water splashed from this golden skillet here, you know. I don't know why I haven't gotten rid of it because I actually burned myself before. I had a very bad steam burn, and it comes from me using that same pot. So, you would have thought I'd learn a lesson, but just told myself I'd be a little bit more careful. But as you can see, that didn't last for too long. But. Whatever, but I'm still alright. I guess I got some put some neosporin on my arm, so I guess I'm decent right now. All right, that's good. There, nice little shake. So now what we want to do is we got the sour cream here. So put some of that in there, and we're gonna put some salt and pepper in there, seasoned salt. I think I got the camera nice and placed so y'all can see everything we're doing here. And I actually didn't realize at the last minute, guys, that I don't have any more paprika. You know, I normally like to use that in my mac and cheese, but we can work without it. You got to be able to do that sometimes. You got to be able to work with what you got. See pepper going? I got to work without that tonight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or work around it. If you don't have it, you got to work around it, you know? So, all right, let me see what else I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little bit of Italian seasoning in there, I know, so I can go ahead and do that now. Right. That's that Italian. Get a nice little coloring on that. Then I'm gonna hit it with some sour cream. Put a nice little scoop of that. <laughs> nice little scoop of that sour cream there. And then put another one right here on this side. I'm gonna give it a nice little stir. You can take your time, you know, because you don't want things splashing all over the place, you know. Get it right. You want to make sure every noodle got that sour cream contained. 
really want it embedded in the sour cream. We don't want too much, but we want it, you know, nice and filled properly, so. All right, looking pretty good right now. Spread that out, I like the way that's going so far. It's pretty good. Let me see. All right, put that down for a second. Okay, get me some cheese out. I'm gonna be using my mozzarella cheese today, guys, and I'm gonna use some sharp cheddar. Got my sharp cheddar here. Put some of that in there. Y'all comment down below if y'all like to use egg when y'all doing y'all baked mac and cheese or y'all don't, you know what I mean? I actually have used it a lot, but as I told y'all before, dairy and, and my stomach, we really just don't agree with, you know, each other too much. We ain't on common ground, you know what I mean? We ain't really seeing eye to eye. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? As much as I like it, I have to kind of try to steer away from it, you know what I mean? So, it is what it is on that, so. I didn't put no eggs in here, needless to say, but still gonna work it out. And you know it's gonna be phenomenal because it's coming from Cut's Kitchen. You know what I'm talking about? All right, look at that. We gotta be stingy with this cheese. We want it nice and cheesy, so. Okay. Get a nice little base there. I like to call it a nice little bed. Make a nice little bed. Lay it out for you. Get the red carpet all laid out. There we go. Alright. Now that looks pretty full and decent to me, so I'm gonna leave that there. And then I'm um, gonna get some of this mozzarella cheese out. In case y'all wondering where the key is at. I actually just left to go pick them up from the um, Boys and Girls Club. Gotta find something for these kids to do summertime, but if not, they eat all the damn food up, you know what I mean? I know y'all can relate out there. She ain't had that. You're going to the grocery store three, four times in a week. A week span. And I definitely don't have a need for that. I just don't have a need for it. I don't have a need for that type of stuff. Oh, no. Alright, let's see. I got that there. Get a little cheese dropped on the floor, y'all. But it's alright. We can work it out. Yeah. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. What y'all think? So far, so good, right? Yep. If I should say so myself. All right. Check and see my ribs looking like in here. Get a little bit of water in there. Put a little bit of water in there just to make sure everything is. Nice and dandy, nice and juicy, the way we want it. As y'all previously saw in the last uh, clip, the ribs already falling off the bone, so you already know what they're hitting for. You already know what it is. Give a nice little quick glance, hold on a second, because I want to burn myself again. So we looking like so far. You got that? Yeah, y'all got that. See that? So we looking like so far. It done fell off the bone already. That's how we doing. Close that back up. All right. Now I'm gonna. Um, I said we're gonna repeat the process, so we're gonna do that all over again. So y'all stay tuned. All right. I'm gonna come right back after I get this uh, last layer done, and we'll be right back. In KNT gang, let's get it. All right, y'all. Welcome back to the vlog, man. Now I'm about to go ahead and throw my shrimp in here. Let them do their thing. I was actually going to fry these shrimp, but uh, change the plan, so we're not going to do that tonight. I'm trying to eat on a little bit more healthier note anyway, man, so I'm trying to stray away from all these fried stuff, you know. Don't get me wrong, I love my fried fish and my fried chicken and all that, but don't need the OD on it. It's okay to eat healthy sometimes, you know what I mean? Fast food ain't no good anyway. Fast 
fast food is definitely not where it's at, you know. Most of these restaurants ain't cleaning on the inside nowhere, so as soon as I go inside and see something ain't to my cleanliness level, oh yeah, I will be excellent. There we go. Voila. We're gonna do these for about three, four minutes on this side. Shrimp, and we're gonna turn them over. We're gonna repeat the process. Let me get my um with my seasoning in that. We got going here. I'm moving my seasons around. Alright, I don't see what I'm looking for. Let me try to locate my seasoning, guys, and I'll be right back. Alright, y'all just hold tight, alright? Alright, I got my old bay. This is what I was looking for. Alright, so we're gonna hit it with that. You just want to put an even coat on it, you know, you don't want to over shake, just enough for it to look, give us a nice color, you know. There we go. Like I said, we're going to do those about three or four minutes on each side, and then we're going to uh, turn them over, heat the process. Make sure all of them touching the bottom of the pan. So that's what we're doing here tonight, man. I just put my sour cream up now because I don't want that to melt. Nothing like that. So let's get rid of this. And we got this from Aldi, y'all, just in case y'all wondering. Because this looks kind of funny. I know y'all probably like, where'd they get that from? Yeah, we got this from Aldi's as well as this mozzarella and the sharp cheddar we got over here. So that's what we're doing tonight. Y'all comment down below if y'all ever shop at Aldi's. If y'all like the food. Not interested, or you like uh, what is it, Lidl, Lidl, however you pronounce that, you know what I mean? I hear them say something on the radio, then people say it differently in the store, so whatever. The L I D L store, y'all comment down below if y'all like that. I think all this has some interesting foods in there that I have never seen, and things that I probably would be interested in eating, but I really just don't like the drinks like that, except for the, um, the organic, what was that, strawberry lemonade or something like that. Now that was banging, I must say. Other than that, um, we pretty much miss me with the Aldi's. Okay. Ain't really my cup of tea, but Tisha likes to go there, so, you know. It is what it is. Alright, so we're gonna let these shrimp do their thing in about three, four minutes. Like I said, we're gonna turn them over and repeat the process so y'all just stay tuned. Alright, keep it locked. KNT gang, let's get it. Shit! Alright. I got my shrimp done this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. And I'm gonna layer them across. I was trying to figure out how I was gonna do this, y'all, so y'all work with me. This is my first time in freestyling this, so I don't know how it's gonna come out. I couldn't figure out if I wanted to put the shrimp. I actually thought about it too late, because you know I layered this, unless y'all just tune into the video. I actually layered this. I wanted to put, you know, some shrimp on the bottom, and then, you know, whatever. Moving too fast, so next time I'll do it that way. For now, we're going to roll with this. As many as I can. Make it look nice and neat. Presentable. I'm 
Putting that back in the cigarette, I'm gonna throw that on in. But. Back in 30 minutes, all right? Take it out so y'all can see what we're doing out here. All right, y'all. Time to go ahead and sauce up now. Sauce these beef ribs, you know what I mean? Get them right. So we're using right here tonight. Sweet brown sugar, all right? Yeah, this was like a, almost close to a full bottle, but not quite. So we can go ahead and put all that in there. I don't want to have to toss that back. I can't stand when somebody do something like that. Put the milk back in there with only swallow in there. Drink up all the Kool-Aid and still try to put the pitcher back. Nah, don't do that. Got this nigga in here scrambling eggs and drinking up all the Kool-Aid, man. Oh. <laughs> y'all comment down below if y'all know where I got that from. That's one of my favorite movies. Alright, that's all I can get out of here. Look, I'm still trying to shake. Ain't nothing left. Down to the wire. We actually got some more barbecue sauce, but it's spicy, so I don't want to use that. With this. See that? Yeah. Put the top back on that thing. And that's that. So y'all, what? We're going our way to some damn good eating tonight. Just you wait. Y'all stay tuned, man. Alright, y'all. Moment is finally arrived. We're about to take that seafood mac out, alright? So y'all just bear witness to this. Yes, sir. There we go. What y'all think? Damn! Yeah. Yeah, your boy did a thing, didn't he? Yes, sir. Go out of there. Woo! Burn it. We're going to go leave it in there. I normally leave it in there like 30 minutes, y'all, but to tell you the truth, we're just too damn hot in here tonight, so I had to bring it on down a notch and let it go for 20 minutes instead, but if you ask me, I think that's pretty good. It's like 20 minutes is all we actually need for that. Y'all comment down below if y'all like it a little darker. I know. I know a lot of us like it uh, kind of burnt, you know what I mean, burnt crust and all that. But this suits me pretty well right here, so we're going to go with that. We're going to rock out with that right there. Let y'all see what the see what the ribs looking like over here. Fantastic. Look at that. Just in case you're just tuning in, yeah, it's no bone. We've been got rid of those a long time ago. Eliminated the bones. Look at that. Now we got nothing but ten of us there. It's ready, man. It's lit. Size so going down. Cut's kitchen. Y'all make sure y'all like this video. Spam it up in the comments section, all right? Spam it up. Share this video. And all that good stuff, man. You know what I mean? Y'all just get ready for the next one. This one off the list, because this is something that has been requested to see from Matt, so 
Chick. Chick. Chick, chick, chick. <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and conclude this one, man. All right? Hope y'all enjoyed this, man. Like I said, stay tuned for the next one. KNT Game, we out of here. Sheep.